Shalom to my brothers and sisters of Yesharo. All praises to Yahuwah, our Heavenly Father, and the Creator of all. And my name is Brother Kuya. And I'm here to present to you the calendar for the second month. And the new moon or renewed moon has been spotted and it's been confirmed on the Tuesday evening, 21st of February. So that'll make all of our Shabbats be on a Wednesday. Now to our new people out there, um, our Shabbats, Sabbath or Shabbats, they're not going to be on every Saturday or every Sunday. Our Shabbats depend on the rotation of the moon. After you have the spotting of the moon on one evening, the next day, which is today, is new moon day. And then you have to count six days. You can work six days after new moon day. And then you come back uh, on the eighth day will be your Shabbat. It's the eighth day of the month, but it is the seventh working day. Now, if you look in the middle, you will see something that looks like an I and a Y. But well, that is called the Paleo Hebrew. It's uh, really, it's pronounced, it's reads from, Hebrew reads from right to left. So the first letter will be uh, a Zan, you would pronounce it Zah. And the second letter to the left of that is, is your Wa. You pronounce it with this right here. Zoo, okay, zoo. That's how you pronounce that, zoo. So this is English one at the bottom, and the top is pronounced zoo. This is the second month, all right. So let's see what our calendar looks like. Now download these calendars. This calendar, for calendar lab, um, is blank other than just the uh, for the blocks and the lines and the word notes. But everything else is, 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 you know, you got to fill in for yourself. I just downloaded it to Microsoft Word and I put in my information and just saved it like that. So you don't have to download a calendar every month. It's download one and then just use that and name it. And then you can have your blank calendar. See how your blank calendar. But anyway, so like I said, this is the second month of the year. And it, the, the, um, the borrow term is Zoo. So, I know a lot of people thinking, how could this be the second month and other people are in the 12th month or 11th month or whatever the case may be. It's because they added a 13th month because of some barley harvest of wheat field they got over there in Jerusalem or wherever they, they claim that. But listen, people, ignore that. Do not use that. Do not go by. We go strictly by the moon was in the sky. That's all I record, okay? I go by the scripture. I do not go by some barley harvest, wheat field, or whatever they got over there. We cannot do that. It's going against scripture, okay? So please, if you want to learn the truth, stay here. I see a lot of people on the internet and on YouTube and different places. They got these different dates. Yahoo, Yah, Yahoo will say, keep my Shabbats. These are his Shabbats. It's a lot of other ones out there. But we go strictly by the moon, what's in the sky. So that's all I record. Nothing more, nothing less. All right. You remember last month we had to get count our seven uh, Sabbaths to get to um, the Feast of Weeks. Well, we don't have to use the prior month's calendar right here because we already have our first week on this calendar right here from the fourth Shabbat. And look at the top line. All right. Look at the top line. And you see over there, if you look over to your left, you see lower right count seven complete Sabbath. So that's what that is right there. That is that is uh, one. That is week one counting up to the Feast of Weeks, the first fruits. All right. And I, I would also want to, I would congratulate all of you and I pray that all of you had a uh, uh, very good and holy uh, Feast of Unleavened Bread. All right. Now, what we do now is after we got our first week, we got to count seven complete Sabbaths. 
All right. Now, you see what that one is on the day 29. On the day 29 to 20, look at the very top. You see the 20th, February 20th, and then you see the 29 will be the first month. I right, look up below that, you'll see the number one. We had one complete Sabbath, all right, from last month, one complete Sabbath, all right. So now what we have to do is we have a, we have to count six more complete Sabbaths in order to come to your Feast of Weeks, all right. So what we do is we have to work, you have to work six days and on the seventh day, the day of rest, the seventh day is the Sabbath, right. So let me get my pointer going. All right, this is the day I'm talking about right here. We had our first Shabbat on our fourth, um, fourth Shabbat right here. Uh, we had our first full week from the prior month. All right, so we had a 30-day month. Okay, then we had New Moon come out. All right, New Moon is New Moon is not a not a Shabbat. So now we got to count six working days. All right, so we count one, two, three, four, five, six working days. The seventh day is the day of your Shabbat. So we have two complete Shabbats, right? So we have two Shabbats already, one from last month. And then we have our first Shabbat from this month. You see, it's day eight. See, you want, we're counting Shabbats, not days. New moon day. It's not a Shabbat. Okay, it's not a Shabbat. It's a celebration of the new month. It's not a Shabbat. You just can't count 50 days and then just be done with it. In the scriptures, it say count seven complete Sabbath. Alright, so we got to count one, two, three, four, five, six Sabbath. Six working days, I'm sorry. Seventh day is your Shabbat. All right, now we got two of them right here. Now let's count six more working days. One, two, three, four, five, six working days. Seventh day is Shabbat. You see, all our Shabbats lines up on Wednesday. This is also um, your full moon. Full moon will come in on the 14th day of the evening. And so they make this full moon day. And you can go to Moon Giant and check the the um check and see how bright it is on it, the percentage on it. But this right here, um, this should be the brightest um uh part of this month right here on the 14th day in the evening. Sometimes it might come in on 13th, but more likely most of the time it's on the 14th day, and then after this, after the 15th day in the evening, it starts it starts to wane. But either way, we're talking about our Shabbat, okay. So we have three Shabbats already. Count six more working days. One, two, three, four, five, six working days. Seventh day, day Shabbat again. All our Shabbats will be on Wednesday. We have four Shabbats already. Okay? So what we do again, four Shabbats. One, two, three, four, five, six, six working days. Seven complete Shabbats. Seven. Right here. It's under Wednesday. All little Shabbats and New Moon Day is going to come under the same block every month. If you if it's not coming out like that, you're off somewhere. So there are only four Shabbats a month. Right? One plus four is five. One from the previous month. And we have four this month, so we have um, five so far this month. Five. Five spots. Okay. Now, we're going to count. We're going to look for the the uh, renewed moon. This evening right here is projected to come out on day 29. Uh, it's not 100% yet. That's why we are projecting it to come out on this evening. So once it does come out this evening, if it does, that'll make Thursday. Thursday, March 23rd will be your um, new moon day. Okay? So we just we can't start counting um, 
New moon days count here and start counting six working days because what? Why is that? Because new moon day is a day of celebrating the new moon. It's not a Shabbat. We, the key word is seven complete Shabbats, right? Seven complete Shabbats. So what we're going to do now, we're going to count another. We're going to count another Shabbat. One, two, three, four, five, six working days. The seventh day, day of rest, Shabbat, on Thursdays. Okay? Thursday. And now, so you have your sixth Shabbat. So we don't need a calendar from the previous month because we got it here already from the last line. We started on the um, started on the 20th of February. All right. So that's the last Shabbat. So it's called we had after, you know, on on um on the, the 14th of February. That's when we started counting. That we had to bring in the sheaf of offering, and we come to this day here, which was that should be that uh, um that Monday, okay. So if you look for the count for the previous month, so we count we can't count this day right here because these two days right here is not a complete Shabbat. So you got to work six days. The new moon the new moon starts a new month. So one two three four five six Working day, seventh day, Shabbat. So we got two, three, four, five like that. And now, new month, not a Shabbat. Count six working days, about two, three, four, five, six, seven days. So therefore, this is your sixth um, Shabbat so far. So this is, if we project it correctly, next, the, um, the following calendar, we should have, we should, we should have our seventh, we should have our seventh Shabbat, and then we'll add one more day, which would be 50 days. See, the thing is, you just can't start off on the day of the sheaf of offering and counting 50 days, count 49 days, and add 50 days. It don't work like that because they are not complete Sabbaths, okay? You have to have seven complete Shabbat. Oh, you gonna you gonna start on the day after the Sabbath, and you are gonna end up on the day after the Shabbat. Some Sabbath. I'm trying to get. I'm, I'm trying to keep saying Shabbat. I'm trying to get these words together, but I don't want to confuse anybody. Either. But you are gonna start on the day after, which is on the sixteenth day of the month, and you are gonna end on the sixteenth day of the month in the third month. All right. So that's how you get, how do you get these? That's how you count your Shabbats. On the, the 15th day will be day 49 for, for, for the, um, the third month. And then you add one more day would be the 16th day. All right. Once we, once we get the, the new month come out of the calendar, I'll try to go through over it again and explain it to you more. And if any questions at all, people, please just, 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 um, just email me. Email me and have no problem to answering it and it'll it'll help me explain it to you better. Um and, you know I won't I'm doing this for 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 y'all's people. Um, so I want everybody to know we have to keep you feast days and these Sabbath days in order to make it into the kingdom. If you don't, we are going against the we're going against the law. Okay? Yeah. So we got to keep up showing. We got to learn how to make our own calendars. That's why I put these calendars out. You got to learn how to do your own calendars. And I'm willing to help. It's no, it's, it's, it's no problem at all. I'm willing to help. Now, before I go any further, I like to clear up something I said in the last uh, slide. It was so long that I couldn't go back and, and uh, fix it like I wanted to. But what I said is started on the 16th day of the month and in on the 16th, I was wrong. I should have said it starts on the, uh, the day after the Sabbath, which was the first month, and it ends on the day after the Sabbath in the third month. Okay, so that means that, that you start your count 
on the uh, 14th day of February, which is the 23rd day of the month. It'll start your count on the 23rd day of the month, the day after the um, the, the the Shabbat, after the Feast of Unliving Bread. And it should, if your calculations are right, if you got everything lined up and the moon comes out, we got to count right. Add one more day. It'll be day 50, and it should be on the 16th day of the third month, the day after the Shabbat, okay? So I hope everybody understand, <laughs> and I'm so sorry. I'm not good at this, and I know I keep saying it, but I'm, I, 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 I'm not. I'm just going to stop saying that. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and just fix it right, fix it from now on, just get better. But uh, if anybody have any questions at all, please inform Brother Dau. Email him with any of your questions. That's for our brothers, sisters. Please contact uh, Sister Maya for any of your concerns, questions, concern, calendars. If you want, you can con you can contact me for a calendar and any questions you have concerning that. Um, if you want to start your new calendar, just email me, and I'll be glad to go over and I will help you to the best of my ability. Is it's not as hard as people think it is. My 14 year old grandson, um, he, I got start him off with the first day and explain to him, and less than 30, 40 minutes, maybe 45 to the most, he had he had done the whole calendar with the uh, um, he I don't think he did the feast days, but all of the working days, the new moon and and everything. So, um, it's not hard, but we have to learn how to do this is very important okay so if, if any concern let me know i am out and i pray that everybody have a blessed month shalom